certainly much of the West right now experiencing exceptional drought and Southern Nevada is right in the middle of it. Well, 13 Action News anchor Ross Dimitri now joins us live again and Ross, the climatologist you talked to say if the climate change is actually contributing to our drought. Yeah, Todd, they did. And you might remember back at five o'clock, those climatologists told us that it's pretty difficult to directly connect this week's heat wave to climate change, although they do think it is likely a contributing factor. But they say it is a lot easier to attribute our current drought to climate change. They say the warmer temperatures we've been dealing with created an increased demand for water. So in other words, the direct result of our warming climate is that more water evaporates from the ground and then less precipitation falls in the form of snow. And that affects us because we rely on snow from the Rocky Mountains to feed the Colorado River, which then supplies Lake Mead. And what's making matters even worse, these climatologists say this problem is compounding. When you get to that point where it's so, so dry, you have a feedback between the atmosphere and the land surface where the, the dry land surface actually um, creates more heat itself and can then make even uh, temperatures even hotter. And these climatologists add that we've been seeing more precipitation whiplash, meaning we've been alternating between extremely wet years and extremely dry years. It's one or the other. Now, if you're wondering what you can do to help mitigate climate change and the warming that we're experiencing, they say think long term. The climatologists I talked to say the more carbon we admit into the atmosphere, the hotter our atmosphere is going to get. So really anything that we can uh, that we can do to reduce our carbon footprint will help. And they are also counting on lawmakers to make policy changes that are going to create that widespread change that might be more important. And we did reach out to some climate change critics at the Chicago based Heartland Institute, but we didn't have enough time to interview them and include that interview in tonight's story. Live in the studio tonight, Ross DiMatte, 13 Action News. Ross, thank you. Also, remember that we are your first alert weather station, so you could download the free KTNV app to learn what the weather would be like in your neighborhood at any time you like. That app also features an interactive radar and current weather conditions as well.